What's up, boys? My name is Patty Fatty Cake, and welcome to my guide. I This actually comes at the request of a viewer. I'm going to be going over the Kefri puzzle room um, rather in depth. I know uh, some people are struggling with this. I've been taking a lot of learners as, uh, as the prices have dropped. Kind of uh, more interested in getting some new players from my clan and some friends into the raid. And uh, a lot of people do seem to struggle on this room. And getting this room quicker is going to be important on uh, getting faster completions. And honestly, um, I don't know if this makes me a total nerd or something. But I enjoy doing these puzzles. Uh, getting them quicker and quicker. Uh, just does give me a sense of enjoyment and they are quite satisfying once you get them down uh i'm gonna stop chattering on and i'm gonna move right into the room and go through each puzzle one by one for you all right so we're in kefri and first thing of note if you are in a solo this is only if you're in a solo uh, you only have to do one puzzle on each row and then you do have to do the final matching puzzle but if uh there's a certain puzzle that you don't like or something like that you can just uh do one and then you go through this little hole right here um do the other one on that side and then i don't know if i can see it from here but there's a, uh, a platform you jump across and then you can go right through since it will enter the gate on the opposing side. I personally, I hate this obelisk puzzle. So if this was me, I would just go this puzzle first. One, it's uh, probably the fastest puzzle. And then uh, do this one second. Just so I would have to avoid it. Alright, gonna do my least favorite puzzle first. Uh, quick note, you're gonna be getting these scarabs spawning on you. Uh, you can kill them or you can protect from range. Uh, you could just not protect from range and blood barrage them at the end. Good way to heal back up from the damage and save prayer pots if you're not bringing in enough or a uh, resource. I don't think anybody actually uses prayer pots here. But anyways, the objective of this puzzle is to light up all the obelisks. You light up an obelisk by attacking it. So just like that well that's not the right obelisk so another tip here is to stand on the stairs because the falling rocks cannot hurt you if uh you are standing on the stairs so uh equip a long range weapon like the twisted bow or you can use your staff to attack them as well and uh basically you just have to figure out the right order so there we go that's the correct first one so it lit up and then uh i was a little bit slow there so uh, it kind of disabled and triggered that. But yeah, you can click one of these per tick, so you don't have to wait the cooldown on your weapon. So you can kind of just rapidly go through them. So just click the first one, second one. Yeah, there we go. That is the puzzle. If uh, you just have to figure out the right order, and uh, it's pretty simple. Not really too much more to say about that one. Next up, this is uh, one of the faster puzzles. I generally tend to choose this one for my runs just because it is quicker. It is a memory puzzle, so sorry for you stoners out there. This one might be a little bit tricky if you got uh, like a three second memory on you. So you just come here, click this button, and it's going to light up these in a certain order. And then the objective is to stand on the tiles or tag the tiles in the correct order if you uh spend too much time or you just forget what the order is you can come back and press this and it's going to give you a new one and then uh yeah as soon as you feel ready you can just go and have at it i've been talking this entire time and not paying attention so i forgot what the order is but yeah just path through it there you go that's that puzzle Next up, this is a math puzzle. Uh, luckily, it's just addition, so we can just do some simple counting. You're going to want to come here to this tablet on the side and uh, click on it, and it's going to tell you in your chat the number that you're going to be adding these up to. I'm going to add a graphic up on the screen here with the values of all the items. So all of the tiles have a corresponding number value to them. Uh, just in order one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They kind of look like the thing that they're representing, except for the bird, the wave symbol, and the boot being six, eight, and nine. Um, you kind of just have to memorize these. You can also look at the TOA Discord. They have a lot of good graphics for this. Um, I'll put a link down in the description below. Uh, but I will get back to the puzzle and show you how I usually solve this. You can use this to reference, but it is going to be nice to memorize it. 
After a while, you will, uh, you can kind of just see what the items are. So this right here, that's a one. This is a two. Triangle has three sides. That's a three. This has four sides. That's a four. Hand has five fingers. That's a five. Bird equals six. Uh, <laughs> right? Birds are six. Uh, this, this is a seven. Kind of looks like a seven, right? Uh, somehow this means eight. And then ultimately the boot is a nine. So you just got to remember that over time and uh, you'll be able to do it. One really quick thing uh, that helps me do these, I'm sure there's some other, you can just memorize like what each row is. So for me, this whole first row here is 31. Uh, these first three is 24. So it's a really easy way to just uh, do this quickly. So if I have a 35, I just know that that's the first row plus a four. So that's just a really quick way to do the room. Um, I run with a few friends. They have like all the rows memorized. So it's just a really quick way to do everything. I think just uh, remembering the first round, the the twenty, the, the 31 and then the first three being 24 has served me well. I haven't really done too many that have needed much more than that. Sometimes you'll get one that's like 45 or something like that. So you have to do a little bit of math, but... Um, Really, just memorize what each thing is or just look at it. It basically tells you what it is um, and you should be golden. Ah, uh, yes. So this puzzle right here. I'm guessing this is the one that most of you are having trouble with. Uh, admittedly, this is the one that gave me the most trouble personally. Uh, the basic concept is that if you tag a square, that one and the two on either side of it are going to change their uh, their status, either lit or unlit. And um, there's really two ways to go about this. You can either think through the puzzle, which is very hard. I don't recommend this. Or just memorizing how to solve specific layouts. There is a key to solving these on the wiki. I will post that now. Here's the key from the wiki that I was talking about. Uh, basically, these are the different layouts that the tiles can be in when you enter into the room. And then the highlighted tiles are the ones that you need to step on in order to uh, complete the puzzle. I recommend just memorizing a few of these. This is going to make it very easy for you to quickly complete it. Uh, if you want, you can have these key, this key up on another monitor, but um, that's a little bit too much for me personally. I like to just memorize a few and that has served me good enough. Uh, if you just have a few memorized, you can just brute force the puzzle till it gets it to one that you have memorized and then uh, just quickly tap out the tiles. For this one, um, I'll just do a slow walkthrough of a solve for this. So I'm going to click this to get this whole row going. And then uh, this is probably, uh, this is my first solve that I memorized. So uh, kind of always default to this, but I'll go on this square to turn those middle down and then go back to the middle. So I don't path over this guy and then this one. And then finally lighting up the corner to finish this puzzle. As a side note, you can right click flip a pressure plate. This is going to change the status of that single pressure plate and you're going to take 20 damage doing so. It does take quite a while for the animation. It's much quicker and uh, you're not going to take any damage if you just figure out how to solve this puzzle. I recommend you just take the time to learn how to do it so you're not taking 20 damage every single raid. Uh, Kefri is pretty close to a no damage room other than the spitting scarab so uh 20 damage shouldn't be bad and ultimately you can just blood barrage heal back up on the scarabs if need be ah so the final matching puzzle this one's really simple yet can be a little bit frustrating there are uh i do i do have a tip and trick to speed this one up a little bit so the concept is that you have to flip or uh activate certain tiles that portray the matching symbol on either side here so uh, the way that i like to do this is i like to always know where two is on each side so i have the boot and then uh the seren symbol here on this side so i'm going to try to find at least two on this side where i know where they're at and i'm going to ultimately be looking for the boot and the seren symbol before going back so i got the seren symbol in the boot so i'm gonna be getting the boot and then just going over here and then i know the seren's on the middle of both of these so now i also know where knives are on this So now I'm going to look for knives and another symbol. So I have the purse symbol there and the knives there. So we'll get the knives. And now I'm just looking for the purse symbol. And then automatically those last two will be the same. 
So what this does is uh, it cuts back on your running back and forth. Uh, if you're going through this quick enough and uh, you should be pretty much out of run energy. So you're going to have to really conserve it here so you can go through this as quick as possible and always knowing where your next one is so you're not continuously running back and forth on dud runs will be important for getting this done quickly. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful. If I did help you speed up your completions or uh, just better get this puzzle room down, please drop me a like. Uh, subscriptions are definitely appreciated and I will see you next time.